It's after midnight. The lights are off. It's time for a crime spree. Om nom 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 nom. Welcome. Hope you're having a fantastic one. So we've got a bit of a fun one today. So uh, I've went out and I have collected roses from various sources. Not at all people's gardens. Not at all. Not at all. I wouldn't do such a thing. So <laughs> the process of making this started 24 hours ago where I had taken my approximately two and a half to three litres, according to a measuring jug in volume, of rose petals and steep them in boiling water. Now again, the amount of water doesn't really matter as long as it is less than the amount you're making. So I, it's about a litre and a half, maybe two litres in there. Don't know, just the amount that you make. And I've left it overnight to steep to make a nice tea infusion. And uh, as you can tell by the colour, it, uh, it is a really nice colour. It is pink and... It's sparkly, why not? It's a unicorn. So this is gonna be super simple and easy. So uh, I have gone ahead and I have sterilized everything, like so. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and rinse this out and uh, we're gonna get into this. So I've gone ahead and I've rinsed out our fermenting container. Now because the color to me is very important because I, I want it that color. We're going to be making it directly in here. No, uh, no muss, no fuss. Just straight in here instead of the previous attempt. So I have a bag of sugar. Tate and Lyle makes you smile nice and easy. And I have approximated about 500 grams of sugar-ish. Now, uh, as you know, 500 grams of sugar in a gallon of uh, whatever jus works out as approximately 5.5%. And that's perfect for a light, bubbly, hopefully very tasty thing. Doesn't really taste alcoholic, but should taste a lot like Turkish delight. So uh, let's just crack into it and let's get going. So I have already wiped my side to make sure it's sterile, just for those people that are interested. And in goes the sugar directly into the damage arm. So let's just go. And there we go, lovely. So that is approximately 500 grams. If you want to be more exact, you know, grab a scale and measure it out. Ish works for me. I don't need it to be uh, perfection. I'm not making it to sell. It's going to be around that. And that does me perfectly fine. So to that, uh, I don't need that, I'll put that over there. So to that, we are gonna add a lovely, beautiful, oh, rose water, which is pink. So, because I broke my funnel, as I've already mentioned, uh, I'm going to be putting it in here because I used this jug instead. So let's just pour some in and see what happens. Do -do -do. If there's any extra, you don't need to worry too much if there's one or two little bits, but why not? I've got my, what turns into be flour strainer. It's no longer a soup strainer. Uh, soup strainer. <laughs> soup strainer? No. Uh, spaghetti hooky spoon. Whatever. So, to our sugar, we are going to add in our beautiful, sexy, rose-coloured liquid. Which smells amazing. So uh, in it goes. And we repeat. Get, get all that juice. I'm not wasting any of it. It's too good. Squish. Oh, look at that. Uh, 
just take out any extra little bits. No harm doing that. And in this one goes as well. Yeah, so. At least it's the right colour now. So I'm just going to add some more water in. I've got, uh, as you can see, it's a little bit lower. That's because we're doing a cold mix. So uh, leave a little bit of room because we need to shake the living bejesus out of it. So uh, guess what? That's what I'm going to do. So after continuous shaking, as you can tell, it is all dissolved. It has kept that lovely pink colour. Because, uh, well, it just, it just doesn't make sense for it not to be pink. Because I want it to be pink. It's, it's rose champagne. It's supposed to be rosy and champagne-y. And it's just, it's just not right unless it's pink. Pink and sparkly. Like unicorns. Sure, why not? So, I'm just going to top it up to our final line, give it another little shake, and we'll be right back. I like it there. Why not? Okay. Shake. So I'm just going to let the bubbles die down, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to let the bubbles die down. So I've given it a few minutes just to get rid of all the bubbles, I mean, look at that, that, that is, it's pink, it's, it's the right colour, so that's cool. So I've got a hydrometer here, so let's just see what we got. So the ish amount, because I didn't measure the sugar, so... I am expecting it to be a little bit over, but I was sort of aiming for the sort of 5.5, 6% mark. So we'll see what we got. So in it goes. Let it die down. So there we are. So it is resting right at the 1.050 mark. So what's that? Sort of 8%? 8%? That is perfectly fine in my book. So I'll just uh, take this out and double check. So I went there. Yeah, 1.050. That's a bit for to dryness, which I am expecting it to do. Mmm. That is good. So what I'm going to be using is the sparkling wine yeast from the Krasmaruf Brew, otherwise known as the Mustache Yeast. Um, it already does contain some nutrient in there, so I'm not too worried about uh, struggling fermentation. Even if this didn't have any nutrient, should be fine. We should end up with something pretty nice. So uh, I'm just going to sprinkle some in. Again, you don't really have to go too nutty with it. It just pops them in. And let it do its thing. The weak will die, the strong will live, and we will have pink, pink rose champagne. So I'm just going to put my airlock on the top, make sure uh, it's already got liquid in there. And then there, that's us done, guys. And that was actually a, a very long road for a very short, short amount of work. So we're just going to leave this to one side. This should take uh, probably uh, yeah, two, three weeks to finish and then turn back into this hopefully nice pink color. I guess we will find out once it's finished brewing. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. You know, don't forget to, you know, check out some of the other ones. Do all those things people tell you to do, and uh, the most important thing, carry on homebrewing. Look at it. See you later. It's pink.